Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video tutorial. This time I'll try to explain how the camera system works in Game Maker Studio. Uh, before I start, I want to say a, a little bit about the name convention used in Game Maker. Uh, you won't find the the name the word camera in Game Maker Studio. Instead, Game Maker uses the the word views. This can be a little bit confusing at the beginning, but the the word view is obviously referring to a camera view. So that's where it comes from. So okay, let's let's start. The first thing we need to to do is to open open your projects room and here let's take this there okay here we can see all the tabs in order to manipulate all the views options we need to obviously click on the views tab and here you can see all the values and options and check boxes and all this stuff. Okay, so at this moment I don't have any view enabled. So let's take a look at how the project looks without the use of views. Let's let's wait. And there you can see it. When you are not using views, Game Maker renders the whole level, the whole room is displayed at once. Obviously, we don't want this. So I'll start enabling the use of views. Let's start with the view number zero. Let's click on enable the use of views and let's click on this check box visible when room start. Okay. And now we have this these two frames. The view in room frame and the port on screen frame. Okay. In this port on screen we set the resolution our game will use. For example, let's enter these values. Nine, uh, 960 by 540. This will be the resolution of my game. Let's put the same numbers here. Okay, and now let's take a look at how the games looks now. Let's wait a little bit. Compiling time, and there you can see it. Now the camera shows just only the area I defined in the view in room frame. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. And here we can see a third frame. This object following. This is very important. Here we set we can set an object and this object will be followed by the camera all the time. So let's let's see it in action. Compiling time. I could edit this. Okay, now if I move the object uh, hero, you can see how the camera is follow him all the time. Okay. And here you have other options like 
horizontal border, vertical border, and here you can set the speed, horizontal speed, vertical speed, the speed of the camera. And basically that's all what you can do. Now, let's tweak some values so you can figure out how this works. As I said before, in the part on, in the part on screen frame, we set our game resolution. And in the view in room frame here, we can set the area, the area displayed by the camera. So I will reduce these values. Okay. Now let's take a look. You will see that I'm keeping the same resolution as before, but now the area displayed by the camera will be smaller. And here you can see it. Same resolution as before, but the area shall, uh, the area displayed by the camera is smaller. So you can see this like a sort of zooming in effect. Okay, now now I will do the opposite. I reduce the game resolution. But I increase the area display by the camera. And let's see it. Now you'll see a smaller window, but showing a bigger area. There you, there you can see it. The resolution of the game now has been reduced. It's a smaller window, but the area displayed by the camera is bigger. Okay, now I'll try to do something a little bit more interesting. Manipulating the use of views, you can set a split screen project. So let's try to do that. Let's try to set to set up a split screen view. Well, I'll keep this view number zero. I'll keep it. But now I will add a new view. This one, the number one, the view number one. I and I try to create two views, two cameras, one in the left part of the screen and the other in the right part of the screen. So let's compare the values. And okay, let's enable it and it's done. Okay, I I'll explain this. Take a look at these values in the view number zero. The resolution of this view is 480 by 270. And it starts with X at zero. Now, if you see the view number one, it has, uh, it has now, the same resolution, but it starts with X at 480. So let's see it. Now it should, it should show two screens and uh, here you can see it, but oh, uh, Mm, I, I I don't like it. I want it. Um, I did something wrong here. Uh, ah, yeah, this. Okay, I had some wrong values. 
Now you'll see two screens, one of the left part of the screen and the other in the right part of the screen. And now pay attention to this. The left camera, the left view is following this blue guy. This is the object hero. And now pay attention to the second screen. The second screen is following the object enemy, this one. And here you can see that the camera number one follows the blue guy, but the second camera is not moving at all. This is because it's following the object enemy, but since the object enemy is not moving, the camera is not moving as well. So basically you can control this here in the third frame, the object following. As you can see, the view number zero follows the object uh, hero and the view number one follows the object enemy. So, okay, basically this was the idea. I wanted to explain uh, how the camera the camera system works in Game Maker Studio and how you can set uh, split screens. Obviously, you have up to eight views, so theoretically you can set up up to eight uh, screens. I I show you how to use two two screens. But following this same approach, you can figure out how to use multiple screen. So basically, that's it. I, I hope you find this video useful. And I see you in upcoming video tutorials. Bye.